Hello and welcome to Hello and welcome to the Crazy Fruit Tutorials. Today we will be doing husk cherries. I don't know if you can really see them, but they aren't that big and they're delicious. And can you tell? And we're sitting here today in the flower fields at Camp Hill Kimberton in um, at the farm at Sankanak. It is truly um, a magical place, and we've been coming here all your life, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah your Sylvia's first food was grown right here in this um, fertile and most magical soil. And uh, Sankanak is our CSA. That stands for Com Community Supported Agriculture, and you pitch in a certain amount of money at the beginning of the season and you help fund the farmers who farm the land and we're very fortunate to have some of the best farmers here in Chester County who work really hard to make amazing food for us every week and today it's husk cherry season <laughs> and Sylvia why don't you tell a little bit about the husk cherry they are the like family of the tomatillo tomatillo family yeah they're basically tomatoes in a little thing like this and it's actually a papery husk and they sort of look like lanterns and what happens is you how do you do it sylvia you just open it like this and you don't eat the husk and you can like just throw it on the ground because it's all natural. Biodegradable. <laughs> then you can eat it and it is delicious. And you want to pick them up off the ground, not these green ones. Um, I'm going to try a green one. They are so sad. And I think it's really important. A lot of people are used to picking fruit or vegetables off of the plant, but with the husk cherry, you actually pick them up off the ground and they look they can look really dirty and people don't think that that's edible when in fact it is probably the most delicious thing uh, that Some, I eat all year it's my favorite thing in the world to and eat. Sometimes they're just a little green but you don't want to get the ones that are this green. They're... The more yellow mm -hmm. the sweeter. Mm -hmm. So Sylvia just to show you picked a couple <laughs> off of the um, bush. Forgive us farmers, we're only doing this to demonstrate what you don't want to do. And she's going to open one up and eat it. I already have one. Okay, go ahead and eat it. It's going to be so sour and my face is going to be so funny. <laughs> now I'm, I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'm going to try one off of the plant. Well, I couldn't eat mine. That wasn't very nice, but talk a little bit about the flavor of a husk cherry because it is most unusual. It's not like a cherry. But it does have a little cherry in it. I taste a lot of melon. There's, like, mine I taste melon, a little bit of cherry, and a little bit of tomato. Mm-hmm. And... And would you recommend it to people? Yeah, it's like candy from a bush that is delicious. That fell to the ground. It's candy that's fallen to the ground. And if you ever see a husk cherry for sale in your supermarket, um, buy them. Because... Mm. Don't buy... If they are green, don't buy them. If they... Sometimes when we get home, we shake them off and all the dirt comes off, so it doesn't always look so dirty. And really, the best way to get a husk cherry is to support your local farms and join a CSA so that in uh, the end of August and the beginning of September, you too can experience the best time of year, which is husk cherry season. It's Basically in the summer, if you can see all the flowers around us. Yeah. So.
so that's it for today, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Happy husk cherry season. <laughs>